Welcome back to Astrology Alert, Linda. And uh, hi. Oh my God, I didn't know you were recording before. <laughs> I was talking all kinds of crap about somebody's mushroom, which I had no business talking yes. about. I'll be holding that against you for sure. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> appending that. Tape. I'll be appending that to the to the back of this for sure. Yeah. Without I'm a doubt. Gonna look. I I posted that you and I were going to be on together. Um. Here we are. So no, it sounds no, like you. Thomas. Sorry. Oh, I've got my Carrie Lake, my Carrie Lake lens going here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the new look. It's the there you go. One. You're back. I'm back. So, so you have you you were telling me that there are quite a few things you want to talk about today. Yes. Things that you've come into. You were you were mentioning. Well, listen, I'm I'm hearing. My God, you were right about the um, the Pisces thing going into, uh, is it Aquarius? Sa no, Saturn went into Pisces. No, then it's Aquarius. Something went into Aquarius. Oh, uh, Pluto. Yeah, Pluto. Pluto. Did you see all the marching going on, even with Netanyahu? But there's people starting to march in Tennessee about this gun thing. There's mm. marching going on. This is what happens. You need the people to come together. Because I don't care what Netanyahu says, and you were looking, kind of looking at you, probably the best of your ability with the limited amount of information. But he's got to be knowing he's going to be taken out there. I don't know if it's head first or feet first. Yeah, no, his his uh, his chart has been choppy for a number of years. That's why he lost his his um, his post for a while. Then he got it back, but. It's not good. He's got alignments as we go into the middle of the year that are complicated. And there it reminds me of Putin, you know, something that is not well aligned. So he's pushing and driving. And now he's, you know, he's brought forth all this resistance. Right. And you're right. Actually, thanks for reminding me, because it didn't even occur to me to think that Pluto and Aquarius is notorious for that kind of thing because I'm one second, I'm going to close this door. I think I know why this is doing this. It's getting really ice cold and this door is open. Okay. All of a sudden it got really, I can feel the temperature dropping. We're still not in the clear out here in California. Eh? Yeah. On going, on going, all kinds of powerful storms. We got another one coming next this weekend. Rain or, or so. Rain or huh? snow. Rain or snow. Uh rain. So oh, you can Armageddon snow right now up in Tahoe. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's been it's been a it's been a crazy winter. So yeah, as I was saying that you, you mentioned that and it's 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 totally true that you get well and it's response to fascism because why are people in Israel all worked up? Because uh Netanyahu in part because he is that way, he's been that way for years. And in part because it's convenient, so he can shield himself from prosecution. Right. He, you know, but the result is that is that the far right fringe, which is a minority, all of a sudden is controlling. You know, trying to control the situation. Right. So yeah, so that makes perfect sense. And I I would be very uh, amazed if he succeeded in in uh, doing this thing because the more we go into the middle of the year the more pressure there is and more misalignment in his chart. So I'm skeptical, you know, that he can that he can achieve his aims. I don't think he's going to be able to change that. And all of them are coming out. The army's coming out. Everybody's coming out. Yeah, right. No, unless the army threatens to come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It gets out of hand. Yeah, for sure. So and it, that uh, uh, video you were recommending where they were pulling together Netanyahu, Putin, Xi, yes. and including going back to 2016. Again, and you know, it's not surprising. Like to me, that's a, it's conspiracy in one way, but not, I don't see it as like they're talking every day and they hold meetings. I think it's just that this group of people, and it includes Trump, they're interested in, in uh, autocracy. They're not interested in democracy. So anything you can do to reduce democracy is good for them. You know, it's, it's what they like. It's what they want to do. It's basically, a, a, in a way, a code word for white supremacy. Not exactly in the case of China, but China is definitely, you know, autocratic. So they're totally happy to go along with that because it's the conservative impulse to take away freedoms, which is 
it's so ironic because they're always saying, oh, we want to give you more freedom. No, you don't. You want to take it away. And the only thing, the bright spot is that you're seeing all these points, like look at this 2024 election with all these states, they, they keep taking more and more of women's rights away. That's just crazy. It's got to be the dumbest. They they're going to keep getting voted in. Well, I don't see how. I, I just don't see how. You know, Maybe well, places like Alabama and Kentucky, but not. Although they do have a Democratic governor in Alabama. Not in Alabama. Kentucky. There's It's a it's a it's a. In fact, they just overrode him on his veto. He vetoed something. I can't remember something that was no good for people. And they the, the Republicans overrode his veto. Well, the thing is, you can get a lot of victories in primaries and you can get victories in in red states. But like someone was saying, this thing DeSantis is doing to lower it from 15 to six weeks. That's very unpopular. You know, you shouldn't be doing things where you know the public is two thirds against you. It's a bad idea. Same with same with guns. Like I think Democrats have a really clear, clear uh, pattern to run on for 2024. Yeah. I would run on women's issues, gun issues, uh, for the two probably key things that I would focus on, and then basically run on on uh, you know all the lies that these guys keep uh, keep bringing up. Uh, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, by the way, Fox News, it's not surprising. I don't know if you saw that too, right? It's accelerating. This is what's really fascinating because the chart for the start of Fox News has Saturn running into it starting next month and it doesn't let up till next year. There's lots of time there for major embarrassment, right? If they actually have to go into a trial and apparently Dominion doesn't want to settle, right? Good for and, them. I mean, did you see that, that uh, you know, uh, Barbie woman that runs the like the the executive that uh runs the the company you know that blonde woman and Wait, is she one of the producers that made a complaint about them being sexist no she's the one that showed up uh basically saying because there was one there was one uh commentator that when when trump came out and said oh look at this there was a vote dump and showing fake graphs and all that he said well uh, that's what Trump says, and election officials do not agree that, you know, they, they're just saying these are votes that are coming in to be counted. And then she sent them an email. This has to stop immediately. Our viewers will be really upset. So in other words, you're not really a news organization. You're a, not even entertainment. It's basically you're feeding your Whatever people what they, yeah. what they want to hear. It's, it's beyond brutal. But Fox does not want to, you know, this to come out because it will constantly damage their message. But if Dominion says they're not going to settle, then, you know. And it'll come out in the open that they're liars and cheaters. And anyway, they have a producer that's formally complaining about them, about their Yeah, she, she's in there too. Yes, yes. And they were busy talking about uh, who was going to, who would you rather sleep with, Governor Whitmer or so-and-so. Tucker Carlson was having a bet on it. You know, a bunch of piglet type energy. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's 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 uh, 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 pretty devastating if it's brought out. And mean, meanwhile, the other advantage, and that this is why I'm really hopeful for 2024, is that they're totally split because Murdoch doesn't like Fox. I mean, uh, doesn't like uh, Trump. He wants to get rid of Trump, but he can't get rid of Trump because the viewers yes. like Trump. Yeah. So then now they brought him back in and Hannity, you know, spent the whole time doing softballs and meanwhile the other people on fox are saying oh that was terrible he's looking awful he's saying stupid things so you've got a, a totally split situation half yeah. the party's going one way half the other and they're focusing on really really uh, dangerous third rail issues that are going to cause more people to vote against them you know especially in the suburbs yeah so i i would be uh you know optimistic about I this. was talking earlier to my friend Tom T. Moore, who writes those books about most benevolent outcome prayers, and uh, he ha he talks to ETs. He has he, he has an ET connection. He said, and I've heard this before. I don't know if you've heard this, that actually Trump and uh, Trump and uh, the Satan won't be getting in. They won't be running. A more moderate Republican will come in. Somebody like Hutchinson in Arkansas. 
I, and I, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that before. Yeah. I haven't picked that up. It, yeah, I picked up that probably the two of them will get kicked out. But I feel definitely a Democrat will win this time around. So then what do you pick up? Like you, you don't pick up DeSantis then no. uh, being able to get the nomination. DeSantis is already dropping in the numbers right now as we speak. Well, he is now. It's just that it's really early too, you know. It's something about them patent leather boots that people just aren't into. <laughs> no, that's what it is. Hey, I was going to tell I you. I forgot about the boots. <laughs> you know, um, that I was raised in a time frame back in my day. Of course, I was way better looking. And the men's used to be all over me like a cheap suit, you know, follow me. Guys used to fall in love with me. Doctors followed me at the hospital. And one time we woke up an attending. The attendees used to sleep on the floor of L&D. And he came out and he made some sort of comment back. He just knew, you know, he wakes up with, uh, you know, in his pants. And he just knew us gals wanted to take a little peek. Like we had woke him up just so we could, this is how chauvinist this energy was. And I said, oh, well, rumor has it, they call you Wee Willy Winky for short. <laughs> and do you know, he did not like that joke at all. All no. the gals were busting out laughing, but he gave me this look. I thought, F you, coming yeah. out here talking trash like that. I know. Well, that, that's part. I mean, that's the whole idea that the. Uh, I mean, Trump has no sense of humor. No, the worst he misogynist. Like him saying he had small hands or something with the hands. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. And or, or any any anything that in any way. Uh, that affects about, his like, ego. I mean, he was he was apparently phoning Disney trying to get Jimmy Kimmel to stop, you know, making jokes about him. I mean. <laughs> oh, I know. He wanted to sue everybody. He yeah. sued uh, John Stewart too, right? I don't know about John Stewart, but he doesn't like John Stewart for sure. Yeah, yeah. John, John anybody Stewart. that talks stress, but it's okay for him to say Mel Streep's a has been one of the finest actresses in our days, won more Academy Awards than anyone. But he, Mister Comet, gonna act like you know. Oh yeah, no, he he's he's definitely one of those people that can dish it out but can't take it. There's no question. Thing thing that's frustrating though, it's not doesn't happen a lot, but I still get this from people where. They say, "Well, he's Teflon. Nothing ever happens." Okay, did you did you see the thing with Gwyneth Paltrow? How uh, so that this is that actress Gwyneth Paltrow. So there's that story. It's pretty comedic, actually. That apparently an optometrist ran into her in a ski slope. Oh, or... I've seen the thing. By the way, I, she's going to win. That's what I told everybody. But right. I haven't so, watched it. So go ahead. So they say they say that they each ran into the other. So someone is lying. But it's funny that it's an optometrist because that's someone who, you know, is supposed to have good vision. So whatever it is, right? But this came up in 2016 and it's now 2023. And now they're in court and people are complaining that Trump it isn't going fast enough. It's actually going really fast. It's just yes. that the legal system, yes. when people are well to do and they can pay lawyers, it takes a long time. And to, it's completely unrealistic to say, Oh, Mary Carlin should have done it already. You know, that's not how it works because yeah. they're not going to go in there. They're not going to go in there ever exposed to some, th you know, f fact or some witness that can right, attend their exactly. case. So they're going to take their time, you know, check everything out. Probably what, a, what a, you know, the guy is doing, in a, what Bragg is doing in New York. Um, probably. We, I don't know 100 percent, but I, I would guess, you know. Right. Uh, but either way, just without saying exactly what may happen the next uh month or so and even going into may is really rough for trump it is not good not good at all well, you know you said a long time ago when we first started having you on the shows and we were all talking to you i remember i don't know if it was my show or somebody else's show but you specifically said that teflon thing is about ready to end yeah, no, this is the year. This is the year when it ends. It's just that it can continue into the into the following year and the year after that. And even when you get into a post the election, Trump's chart is still a mess. It's still really bad. Right. Right. And when you're facing multiple indictments, that isn't good. I mean, I don't care what people say. Oh, he's going to get away. For... You don't want to be in that position. It's just not a good place to be, it's particularly when there is evidence, you know, tangible right. evidence. And exactly. Every day we keep hearing, if it's not one thing, it's another. Now it's that Corcoran guy, he had to testify to the grand jury. Then 
Now all of them have to go, but uh, Trump is appealing. But that's not taking a long time anymore. It's, it's within a short period of time they move it forward. So it, it's a really dicey situation to be in, you know. Um, and not to mention, what about uh, the latest on uh, his ex uh, accountant uh, Weisselberg? All of a sudden, he's getting. That's new what lawyers. I wanted to ask you. What are you getting on that? Well, that to me is probably another point telling you that this guy. You know why? Because he probably doesn't want to be at Rikers because it's supposed to be a really bad prison, and they're probably saying to him, "Well, there's more stuff here, and you're going to be in prison longer." So he's thinking, "Okay, enough. Maybe you know that's that's my okay, that's yeah, my." We can put that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also CNN just was it CNN? Somebody just talk, said that New York is definitely looking now beyond Stormy at the other woman that she's kind of pretty that had that affair with him. Yeah, and she she was the one, if people remember, she was the one that was uh, part of the Pecker. <laughs> she was she was the one connected to Pecker. Yeah, but uh, I know this is so, so amazing that. <laughs> It's so amazing that this whole thing is it's like you can't make it up. Uh, but no, she's the one that that uh, um, Michael Cohen had made a recording with Trump. I don't know why, why he did it on purpose or whether it happened, whatever. But he had this recording and they were talking about paying her off in the recording. It wasn't Stormy Daniels in that case, it was her. So if they link her as well, you know, it just starts to all stack up. And once again... You know, you, you, people are saying, oh, this Brad guy has a really weak case. He didn't go af after Trump for a long, long time. And then all of a sudden he seems extra anxious to go after Trump. What does that usually tell you? He must have something that he is pretty solid. Yeah. You know, because he was he was looking at all into He already convicted him on the um, records, you know, on the previous case. Bragg already got a conviction. Right. Uh, so now he's building on that. To me, that's extremely dangerous. You know, I'm even wondering if they could bring in... Because uh, this is the easiest thing. And, and, and don't put it above Trump, because Trump does this all the time, right? Trump is so entitled. Don't be uh, you know, too sure that he didn't do this Stormy Daniels thing and then try to cheat on his taxes using that, because that would be a total Oh, he <laughs> total did a big true social thing. He's talking about how he had this agreement with somebody at the IRS, and now the person has reneged on the agree agreement, and how absolutely devastated he is that this person would lie to him i guess the guy says no you ain't gonna cheat now because it's we're wide open yeah no it's it's uh it's i mean by the way he always talks i mean the thing about trump says this trump says that 99 percent of what he says is made up he just says things uh and then repeats them in a different way varies changes the story that's that's the style right and and the thing is the reason we're in such trouble is in comparison to in the Watergate days, news organizations reported what was being said. The people that are watching Fox, I mean, look what, look what they're doing. If they weren't going to tell them in 2020, so apparently Murdoch said at one point, we need to tell them that Biden won. And right away, the pushback from the from the blonde lady was, well, yeah, but if we do that, we're going to lose viewers. <laughs> so then, you know, but that's the thing. Murdoch should have said, no, we'll do it. But he didn't. So he's He's broadcasting that he's okay with this, right? But if they weren't telling them then, what makes you think they're going to tell them now? No, it's not going to happen. So uh, Democrats have to win in spite of the fact that there is this, there's this, you know, conspiracy literally happening in front of their eyes. Exactly. But uh, even though they're big, they're the minority, right? It's like right. that. It's like you right. see, I, th there was a poll that said, 60% of Americans think Trump committed crimes he should be prosecuted for. That's not oh, a good yeah. number. No, it's not a good number. No, and there was a, uh, the, your, the guy you like, Morning Joe. Did you yeah. see that thing that they said most people think he did commit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The, and there was something else that they felt that he had. Uh, it, he doesn't have, I think, 23% of people think he's innocent. Yeah, it, it's it's quite low. And... I mean the numbers. The numbers are are obviously bigger than we want them to be, but still, still. I mean, what team do you want to be on? I wouldn't want to be on that team right now. Well, looking at twenty twenty four, I wouldn't. I don't care what you tell me about how we're gonna do whatever. It doesn't seem right to me. It seems like you're going in with an inferior team and you're probably gonna lose. You know, almost certainly. Now, what sign is not in Yahoo? He's Libra. So uh, Libra, but he's late Libra. So he's uh, in a way. 
in a similar jam as Putin. And what he did, and it's very, this is the, the uh, Jupiter in Aries is the other side of Libra, it's opposing. So Jupiter is notorious for expanding. When you expand well, it's good. But if you overexpand, which is what he did, he decided, oh, I'm just going to do this crazy thing. Then not only does it get pushed back and, uh, you know, uh, get rejected potentially, but the fallout comes later. So to me, a lot of this fits into, we got to look at it starting in mid-May when Jupiter changes signs for the situation with Putin, the situation with Netanyahu, like what does it settle into as we go into later right. in the year? And I think it's probably going to get stuck, you know. And, well, and that's what uh, I think Morning Joe said. He said, what the hell is he doing telling America, you know, we're not, we, we Biden has no right, and this and that, no, we're not coming to visit you and blah, blah, blah. Israel depends on the United States for a lot of help and monies. What what are they doing? Well, they're 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 banking on probably right now. The U.S. government is split, you know, because we've got McCarthy and his crew there, you know, doing no governing at all. All they're doing is is nonsense. They have to. Although that's another topic. That's another topic because that's up pretty soon. Uh, what I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the scoop is, but I know that. You know, those degrees, those degrees that are getting a lot of pressure are the same degrees as Fox's degrees, right? So MTG uh, and uh, McCarthy and Fox, for obviously totally separate reasons, but that's right. where the Saturn goes. Saturn is a planet that will call you to account every time. You know, it's, oh, it's I know. It challenging. My butt gave me cancer. Well, yeah, so you it mean... It changed I, you, my world, but it did it for the better. It, which it can, which it can... In, in cases where the individual is is upright and hasn't committed crimes, basically. That's the bottom yeah. line. I mean, uh, yeah. it's, well, maybe I killed one of my ex-husbands, but that's it. He deserved it. <laughs> well, wait, careful, because there's still time. Saturn's opposing it. <laughs> he ate the last, he ate the last pot, pot, pot thing, you know, the, the little uh, uh, pepperoni pots, pot, whatever you call those things. My kids used to like those, and they found out they had all kinds of cardboard and stuff in them. Wow. <laughs> pop, pop, pot, something pot back pocket or pot sticker or something like that. What, what's in that? have a commercial about it. And but what's kids in that? Love it. It's a little doughy thing that has cheese and stuff in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. Anyway, somebody stole my food, and that's it. So what other stuff? What what other stuff has come across your radar? Oh God, everybody's that's asking significant. Everything. Now you probably haven't had time to look at the young man who was taken by Russia, right? On total bogus charges, he is not a spy. No, I. But I, I did ask my pendulum when I was on with Tom. I said, "Is he going to be released?" Yes, but time frame we don't know. That's yeah. the thing. If you can, as an astrologer, though, you can look more at that, but. Yeah, if, if you often, get a time. but Yeah, you, I've often said Putin's going to do something really stupid. I'm wondering if this is it. Yeah, uh, I know some, some people have said that as well. That I mean, I just hope that it isn't related to nuclear, but I don't think so. I think, it, I think the nuclear no. thing is all a threat. It's just to create fear because, you know, nuclear, nuclear is everywhere now, you know. England but this Netanyahu, I'm telling you, I, I can feel it in my bones. He's going out. He may actually think he's going to try to just change that that thing with uh, the justice, and they come after him. Something's going to happen. Yeah, well, and it's not going well, which is the main thing because uh, when you're when you're not uh, making progress in in a in a war that you yourself started, and you're losing so many people, that's what happened to them in the in the eighties with Afghanistan. They eventually it was actually the women, I think, because the mothers of dead kids you know eventually put a lot of pressure right in the system and and the way it's going it, it'll probably go the same way i mean he, he definitely it, 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 there's a somewhat of a similarity between his and netanyahu's when you look at their charts yeah it, it's poorly aligned it's maladjusted so not at all a formula for for succeeding so you know that's the bottom line but as as far as the young person just logic tells you that it's likely, I, I heard a story that it might even be to get a prisoner exchange. I mean, that, the, the, Russia has run like a mob now. It's run like a, like a criminal enterprise. So 
they'll they'll do whatever is needed. But it's amazing to me that people that are from here, from from America, still stay in Russia and they haven't left yet. I, I don't understand how they don't think they might be in danger, you know, to be hanging around there. Yeah. Yeah. And so. now they're finding out it's been released that Israel, like I that thing I told you, I sent you, mm -hmm. Israel is part of the plan that helped Trump get in. And they tried to help them in 2022, too. Yeah, no, I, I mean, look, it's the, it's, if Netanyahu, and sometimes it's almost too obvious, Netanyahu is a conservative, and conservatives in the last decade or so have gone way to the right. And he used to be, he used to be a kind of a center-right kind of person, but now going all the way to the right, and then to survive, he's brought in all the radicals, you know, in uh, in, the, in Israel. And the story with the Russian thing was that many Russians moved from Russia to Israel, and the majority of them are really something like 1.5 million, uh, which is about 10% of the Israeli population. And it's they're Russian? very, it, the, well, they're, they came from Russia, yeah. So, and they're very conservative. So they're in that wing of the, of the wow. you know, government. So, I mean, Israel, from what I understand is, Right now, almost like this, like here in the U.S., with the insanity of two sides that are completely disagreeing, oh, God. and and this move that he's making, this is the kind of thing. And it, you know, to, uh, to, I'm amazed at the MAGA people because, well, maybe this is what they want, but that's what Trump would try to do if he were in power. He would try to, you know, destroy the institutions, do whatever oh, he would need he would, to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's even mad at this Supreme Court because they didn't vote the way he wanted them to vote. Yeah, exactly. Which would be a lawless. A lawless act. Right? Yeah. So, so um, uh, what was I going to tell you? Yeah, I think I think Putin is definitely going down. Did you get any hits on China at all? I don't have anything on China yet. I don't no. feel a threat with China. I know they talk about. Oh, China says they're going to be upset because uh, uh, our vice president went to Taiwan, and they're like, you know, you better not do that. But yeah. You know, what about you seeing Putin? Yeah, no, exactly. He's actually causing a war. What? What's the difference? But you, we, we can put up with you going to Putin, but we're not supposed to see Taiwan. Yeah, like I mean, like in, in actual fact, if you if you look at the history of warfare, what tends to cause wars to start out is when you don't provide resistance. Like back in the, in the Second World War. They let Hitler run around for too long, and then he, he built momentum, and then as war started, and then you had to, uh, you know, fight back. If from the beginning you say, no, don't do that, because if you do that, we'll, we'll take action, then, you know, people are more careful to, to do those kinds of things. So, um, but back to what you said earlier, though, that is another thing, the, the Pluto and Aquarius period. Now, the thing with that is that it only went in, it's going in for a couple of months this year. That's it, right? Now, that's actually bad for... Netanyahu in that backtracking into Capricorn the rest of the year is not where he wants it. And so he's going to have problems with that. But overall, it's also a period we have to wait until Pluto gets fully into Aquarius, which isn't until 2025, because even next year, it'll make a bigger entry and then back off back again. And then, again. And then in 25, it's fully in. So this to me is the, the you know, the, the shifting of the of the battle to more toward democracy and toward, and toward the people, but never without a cost. I mean, these things don't happen overnight, and you know people are always looking for the big break. You know, uh, next Tuesday it all changes. It changes as you move along. You know, uh, yeah, slowly but surely. You know, uh, Hitler had a lot of uh, ability to talk trash about the Jews because you know, they were blocking the Jewish. The Jews coming in from from Germany. They we were blocking left and right, and uh, Roosevelt said he had no choice because those were all white, what do you white Christians that were running the country, and they literally blocked. There were some that got in, but mostly none. Oh yeah, no, there was there was a lot in in the story of I didn't know this until recently. The story of the 1930s and 40s was full of. You know Nazis and and, and anti-Semitism and you know disgusting type stuff, but you know the thing about it is <clears throat> it, it's a battle. I still think the majority is very strong. I mean you saw the response in in Israel. There was also Georgia. I know there was a third place. I can't remember what the third 
Was there a third country that pops into your mind where there was democratic resistance? I know there were three, but I know Georgia and Israel for sure. I know somebody just came out and they rallied and they stopped them from putting through something that Putin wanted them to put through. What was that country? Somebody, I they think, came I think that out might in be, the millions. That might be Georgia. Is it Georgia? Yeah. And, and he was trying to get them to do something, to put through some bill. And everybody came out and said no, and they stopped it. Yeah, so, so and, and I, I would not be surprised as time passes to see, right now Iran is quiet, but Iran a while back was making noise because of, and the thing is, this is the topic. The topic is that, is that I would align myself with that, the discovery of that planet back in 2005, which gives rise to the power of women growing. And this is all patriarchal men trying to, you know, hold women back. I bet you anything that if you check the polls in Israel, the country would be totally democratic if women were voting and not, it's the men, right? But that doesn't mean they, they're going to win. They're trying, they're pushing, they're, you know, moving their agenda, trying to move forward. But it, I think it's a loser. You know, as time passes, it's, it's a total loser. It's just that don't expect it to be a snap of your fingers. It takes time. Like, I remember when Roe v. Wade was taken down, there, I saw some upsetting comments when I said, it'll probably take two to five years for this to rectify itself. Oh, how can that be? It should be done immediately. It is, yeah. Well, you know, fast, yeah. yeah, because with, with this House of Representatives, what, what do you think you're going to get? Nothing. You know. what, what's your feeling about the debt ceiling, by the way, going into the middle of the I year? think they're stupid enough to try to play that. Really? Play that card. And, and, but, you know, because the thing is, here's the deal. They turn around and, and not give us, make us pay our bills. It will cause such chaos, it will ruin the Republicans forever. So it could be what I was getting is that more mindful Republicans, not the cray crays, won't allow them, like they'll vote against them doing this. Does that make sense? It may it does. be. Republicans saving it that will say no because their constituents are going to be writing them left and right because people won't get their social security checks right and yeah. so people will be writing don't you dare yeah and so sense. that's what i'm feeling will save it but it feels like the hair of your chinny chin chin right on the crest yeah well i i'm just really wondering i'm wondering what it is that mccarthy runs into quite a bit sooner than that, because that's not until June. I mean, in June, it's still dicey for him because it's once it starts, it'll continue. Right. So maybe he maybe even has to quit. I don't know. But I'm wondering what it could be, because uh, who know, maybe maybe it's that Trump gets indicted. I don't know what the scoop is there, but something, <laughs> you know, he, run, he runs into a brick wall. So what could it be? You know? It could be he gets in. I don't know if it's Trump indicted or if it's him in trouble. You know, they're saying that they not only do they have Trump about the January 6th, but they have other people. Now, he was against this insurrection. Then he turned on the dime. So I don't see him being part unless they go back into his something with monies or being paid off or something. But it could be. Well, I mean, it could it could be that I know I know MTG. She was looking for pardons and so was. Um, She's Matt in on Gates. it. And so Gomer, then, uh, Gomer Pyle's in on it, too. They, they they would risk, you know, some kind of subpoena or something. With with McCarthy, the only thing is he, he could be asked to testify the way Pence. Pence was told you got to go testify because McCarthy was talking with Trump and he can establish frame of mind. But he, he, can... was t he was telling everybody what they were talking about post January 6th because he was so mad at Trump. Right. And he said, you SOB, you better get us some, you know, the National Guard. What right. are you doing? He said, well, some people believe in me more than you. That's what some, Trump said. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no let's question. Look at, let's look at McCarthy real quick with my cards. Let's just see if I can see something. So his magic is going away. He's going to be torn in two different arenas. Yeah, something's getting to hit him. You don't think he's having an affair or something? Some sort of affair, some sort of scandal is coming up on him. 
Hmm. This well, isn't that... about legal as much as about personal. Really? Well, That's that would what be cool. So we'll see. I'm happy with anything when it comes to this guy because he's so corrupt. You know, he's so totally corrupt. Now he's going up to Biden complaining that, oh, the economy is falling apart. And Biden said, well, where's the budget? You got a budget? No yeah, budget. No, but, Biden put his budget in, but they don't have a budget. Yeah, they, they're not they're not governing at all. They're not uh, governing, you know, one bit. And Jordan continues with his, you know, with this thing day by day. Uh, the latest, I think he stopped. What did he do? He stopped the, the Democrats from questioning witnesses. I think that's the latest thing I heard. So it's just an ongoing, an ongoing thing. And but that's part of why I think someone like Netanyahu takes advantage of the fact that he knows Biden is unlikely to say something like we're going to stop giving Israel aid or, you know, something really crazy like that. So then he he, he gambles, you know. Right, right. Doing. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's going to work. Right, right, yeah, right. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So so you think they're going to try, so your, your feeling is the, the debt ceiling, they're going to try, but that... I, I'm feeling it's really close, but I don't see the Armageddon that would cause, so it makes me wonder if, if smart Republicans say, no, we're not going to go for this. Well, that, that actually would make political sense. Uh, because because uh, this will this will destroy the Republicans. This we will get voted out for sure. Like go, going, you know, in when they didn't do the budget before, and, and remember Trump said, "Put it on me. I've made the decision." And he tried to show his rear, and it ended up he had to turn around and say yes. And all the government employees got laid off, and it hurt them. It hurt the Republicans. You talking about? You mean the back in the Trump era? Back when he was in office, yeah. Oh right, when he when he did the uh, when he did the government shutdown. I'll never forget Nancy Pelosi telling him all all roads lead to Putin with Trump. Oh, he was so mad at her, and you saw all those generals looking down because you know he was telling her off and she was telling him off. And I love the fact that. Hunter Biden is suing the hell out of everybody. Now he's suing the guy that he took his computer to because the guy got in his computer and, and sold his information and the contract he signed because after a certain amount of time, the guy could sell the computer, but not the information. Hmm. So right. anyway. Yeah, so that so they broke the law. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. I mean, in a way, in a way, in the American system, the probably the key way to to fight back is to sue. That's what Dominion is doing. You know, Dominion is saying to Fox, no, we don't want a settlement. And I feel Dominion wants an absolute apology. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, yeah. They no, they, to yeah. say on TV, we lied to all of you. Yeah, no, exactly, which is what Fox doesn't want to do. No, they don't want to do so that. So then they're, they're going to try and they're going to try and they're going to try. But if that, you know, I think it's a logical chart to use the first ever program launched not good not good no. at all no because also you also you frame it into what is already happening and this thing has been building building what you would expect like you see the planet moving you know moving toward the spot and things are not getting better they're getting worse you know, like, right now even, have you taken a look at fanny or anything at F fanny willis uh -huh. yeah no well with her uh, without a birth time but just with the day of birth my sense of her is that she's been through the pressure already like the the chart now is not set up to be to be pushed back no I, I don't see it now there could be maybe a time of birth that would you know like that would give you like a 20 percent chance of it being true let's say right of it happening but uh other otherwise no she's got all these planets that were getting all the saturn pressure during when she was making the case which is often what happens because with Saturn, you're working and working and you're not right, right. making progress. But now that it's nearing the end where it's a matter of indicting, no, it's not there to, to put the brakes under. And isn't it true that from what I hear, this law they're trying to pass to to maybe like remove her doesn't, take in, uh, doesn't go into effect until next year, right? Yeah, and, so she has time to get in there and get Exactly, it. which because they're not, this is the other thing. It's very unlikely you're going to see the start of these things uh, in going into next year because next year is an election year. By the time you get into the spring, you can't, the Justice Department, I don't think, would start something. Okay. So the start is sometime this year into early okay. next year. Otherwise, they'll be accused of, you did this on purpose, you know, to, to, uh, 
to damage the electoral chances of the right, party. Right. Which I, actually I think with Trump, if you did it and you shot him up, you might improve his electoral chances because him talking is actually his liability to himself, you know? I know. So when uh, Rachel Maddow was on Monday, I told everybody when they, she was talking about Fannie and this thing they're trying to pull, this rug they're trying to pull out from underneath her, I had a quick flash from my guides of Jack Smith whispering in Fanny's ear. And I can't figure what that's about. Is it like, just hold on, it's okay? Or I just saw that. I never saw him talking to Bragg, but I saw him talking to Fanny. So they might even be kind of working together. Yeah, it's possible because the, the two the cases are linked. You know, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of those people that are in um, Fanny's case, they are linked to the January 6th thing in Smith's case. So right, exactly. it's possible they may be able to link them. And I mean, none of this is good because when you start seeing all these people taking the Fifth Amendment, like Giuliani and all the rest of those people, and, you know, and then you've got the ones that are already caught red handed. I don't see how this is good once you start to, you know, have to be in court. And then people like Stephen Miller, for example, they would want to they would want to lie or like may, uh, may protect Trump, maybe Pence too. But the problem is you have to be really careful because you don't know who might flip and then contradict your story and then you'll get caught, you know, with a perjury charge. Once you're in court, all these games stop, you know. That's why Trump, by the way, started taking the fifth right and left because he knows. Right. I talk a lot on True Social, but once I'm in court, none of that applies, right? Then exactly. it's whatever they ask me, I have to answer. And, and he said out there as big as day, anybody who pleads a fifth is guilty. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, it's got to be the most ironic thing that he's one of his problems is what he accused Hillary of, you know, uh, I know. The, the confidential information and all that stuff. He did it in spades. And, you know, by the way, he was on Fox the other day with Hannity and he said again, I have a right to take those records. You know, see, this is one of the things, by the way, that that could happen as a result of all this, um, uh, you know, legal, legal battle, legal battles, is that they really should use tweets and videos as evidence because they are evidence. If you go on TV and you say, this is the way it is, you said it. I would present it. You know? Yeah. And so then, then in a way you establish a, a, a precedent for future where politicians can't just say, oh, I was just being political. Oh, well, you know, January 6th was just tourists coming and chillaxing and they were very, con Trump even said they were wonderful, wonderful people. But our eyes saw the videos. Yeah, no, that exactly. There was no tourists. And somebody said, if they were tourists, why didn't they come in through the tourist door? Why'd they break windows to come in? Yeah, but you also, did you notice that Carlson, from what I know, as far as I understand, he didn't continue doing that. He only did it once. Yeah, so, because he, he really got shot up. Okay, so he's got 40,000 hours. He clips out, you know, a minute and a half. Look, that's when the people were, I guess, loading up to for another attack or whatever. Everything yeah, but was it was after the riots when they were escorting them out. He tried to act like they just came in and they were giving him a tour. No, they were asking him to leave. And that's when the police department came in, the Washington, D.C. police, and said, no, that was at the end. We were trying to get this guy out of the building. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, so, you yeah, know, he had to stop because they were lying. I, I think the thing with this is that is that it's it's so uncomfortable to go through because it's such an outrage. I mean, every time I see the latest, I think, oh, my God, this is even worse than I thought. And but the thing is, if you look at history, what often happens is new rights, new freedoms are won at the cost of first a lot of disharmony. Like look back to the 60s. They were, they were really turbulent times. And then we got the Civil Rights Act but not before, you know, the, that bridge where there was that scandal, you know, with the police, uh, you know, hurting African-Americans. Then it was followed by legislation that improved everything going forward from there. And we're kind of in the same place now, especially around women's rights. I mean, I'm astonished that they're doing this in this way. I mean, I, I hear that's another thing that's crazy about our system, that that judge in Texas all by himself, he can be like, the judge of some little village, and he can issue a ruling that applies to the whole country, all by himself. I'm shocked. Huh? Why is that even? Why is that even 
a thing that can happen. Awesome. You know that yeah. some guy. I mean, by that logic, that would be like. Uh, remember what's her name? Mylene Cannon, the one in a uh, in a uh, back in Florida. Trump would just go to her, and she could just say, "Okay, well, uh, that's it. We're gonna do it this way." And then the hey, whole country listen, has to that follow. That whole thing ruined her career, by the way. Well, yeah, that that wasn't a good move. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that that's it. that's where I mean. Uh, I still. What amazes me about all these people that are around this guy is they should just look at the cover of the book by Rick Wilson. He's 100% right. Everything he touches dies. Don't get near this guy, right? He also, he's a complete loser, never wins anything. His genius is he tells you, I'm a winner, right? <laughs> up is down, lost, down is up. Lost, yeah. Left and right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Well, my friend, it was wonderful talking to you. Likewise, likewise. That was kind of flew by. It's about 45 minutes. Yeah, we always cover a lot of ground. That's, yeah. um, and I'll see you next week. Hopefully we have a lot of gossip to talk about. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking that by next week, there will probably be more because the the key planet here is is Mars. It's now in early cancer. It's inching its way toward that access Hollywood. He's got that thing that I first discovered back in October of 2016. When planets go there, something blows up and he either he gets really upset or whatever. I'm it's moving in it. there. So that's what to look forward to. And Oh, and the full moon too. The full moon is coming up on um, the 4th, which is another trigger in his turn. All right. I love it. I love it. All right. That was fun. That was fun. Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody.